Let's talk about miking a kick drum, or a bass drum if you'd prefer to call it that. There are a lot of different options in terms of how we can mic a kick drum, but today we're going to specifically look at miking the kick drum inside the drum. We're going to use an AKG D112 microphone, and I went for this microphone due to its compact size. It makes it easy to place within the drum. There are many other options out there, such as an RE20, an SM7B, and they're all great mics, and they're all going to exhibit similar characteristics in terms of how the mic placement changes the sound quality. We're going to start off by placing our microphone directly in line with the beater toward the batter head, about three inches away. Then we're going to back it up to about 12 inches away from the batter head and see how that affects the sound. Now that we've listened to that, let's take our microphone and we're going to put it off axis, meaning instead of being directly in line with the beater, we're going to put it slightly to the side and point it toward the beater. This is going to give us a much different coloration. Once again, we're going to be about 3 inches from the batter head, and then we'll do a second example about 12 inches away. When you have a ported head on your kick drum, meaning there's a hole in it, you have the ability to place your microphone inside the drum, or outside, or anywhere in between. Let's see what happens if we take our microphone and place it directly at the port, and then we'll try it slightly back from that port. There's a myth that you cannot use a ribbon microphone on a kick drum. If you have the correct ribbon microphone and you use it properly, you should be okay. Today we're using a Royer R121 ribbon microphone. We're gonna place it outside of the kick drum. We're gonna put it at a slight angle to make sure that the air coming off of the kick drum does not overpower the delicate ribbon. When you have more than one microphone on a kick drum, you have the ability to change the coloration by varying the balance between the two microphones. This is a good thing, but always make sure to check your phase to make sure the two microphones are in phase with each other. Furthermore, make sure that all of your kick drum microphones are in phase with any overheads or additional microphones that you have on your drum kit. 